so everybody is online now you switched on your cameras wonderful so can uh, before that i would like to first of all thank all of you very much you know thank you very much that um, uh, all of you gave us very nice well wishes and blessings uh, during our you know 22nd uh, anniversary of hari krishna weekend and uh, we deeply appreciate this from each and every one of you thank you very much me my wife and my son and all of you we are all equal partners in this it's not that uh, only few are this is no privilege we are servants if you think it is privilege then become servant you know <laughs> being servant is a privilege i don't think it's very big privilege in the material world but anyway so also i we have been a request i just want to be sure that i'm not intruding too much not assuming we supposing that uh, if you can start populating our hari krishna weekend facebook page you know and i think only a couple of them have done it so far so please don't feel uh, pressurized on it if you don't want to do it don't do it i don't want to you know uh, assume things um, yeah but if you can it will be very wonderful you know so it is mainly for our activities and i'm hoping that when all of you will do your activities pitching activities you may start posting there directly anybody can post share screen of open it for everyone you know so that way at one point we all can come together and see things so far the photographs would come and go in different groups and whatsapp group it's not been seen by everybody you know so with this then we'll be able to watch you know everybody can see it. so yeah and it will remain there for a long long time you know with a different um, Uh, albums and all that you know yeah just a thought with it so hari krishna let us let us get into it now anyone wants to say anything on this before i go further before we start our wrestling match and boxing match no okay all right okay hari krishna so i think um we are quite a different sort of program the people say you go to some religious program so it's very much a sadhu sits there like this and everybody is like this and you know every half of them are sleeping and there's kirtan going on and all this is going on it is quite different we are in boxing match you know so this kind of discussion and especially what we're discussing today not the last discussion was still all right you know about we being part and parcel of krishna is still the scriptural part this point of discussion about what is bigger than life is a sort of a general discussion where um, i would really want that devotees in hari krishna we can who are nicely following us we become thoughtful devotees you know? we think we don't become independent there's a there's a difference between being independent but we are dependent but we are still independently thoughtful that means nobody can cheat us you know we don't become herd mentality we are not anymore by the crowd we can go in the crowd too but still we have our own individual thinking so i want to make sure that all of us are in a good thinking process you see we can think very clearly and very aptly okay right so with this now let us start our discussion who would like to remember did we discuss anything what we discussed uh, uh, two or three weeks ago what was the last point of discussion nobody remembers that <laughs> it's too much it's all too much no Yes, two people raise their hands. Please, please, I'm very keen. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Yes, Hari Bol. So we started with the question that you asked, uh, that what is bigger than life. Then the discussion went to another point that uh, Sushri Mata Ji raised that point that uh, if we love our parents, do we love them because we love ourselves, or is it something like that? So, yes. So ask on that point. Wonderful. 
Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So we came to the point about do we really love someone more than our own self? You know? Your own self. He said, no, we love ourselves more. That was our final conclusion. And that's why we love others, bodily attached, you know. I'll tell you, just to that point, because I have watched one, it was a live, not a live, it was a, 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 it was a story about a young boy. I mentioned this once before, I don't know if you remember, uh, of a young boy who, in Haryana, and he took birth again in the next village. So, uh, he by now has become a teenager. Okay? So, when he was a small child, he would run away from his old, from his new home, where he was born in this life, and would rush to his old home of a previous life. And he would remember his wife, he would remember his daughters, who are all grown up and he's a small child. He is a small child, toddler. He would remember his parents, they were still alive. He would remember his best friend. So he would run away like this to their home. Yeah? Every so often. So now, when this reporter, there will be so many interviews taking place of this man. You know, all television people come and newspaper come and all that. He got fed up, you know. Now he's a teenager. So this news reporter asked him the question, so what do you want now? He said, I just want that this is to stop now. I want it to be stopped. I don't want to be hassled again about my past life. He said, I've moved on. I am in a different body now. And I've got a different set of parents now. So don't talk to me about the past life. Let's see. And this boy, when he was a toddler, his wife recognized him. He spoke everything. I mean, it was absolutely. And they, they, should, they, they, they went to this new home also. New home means this birth home. And they went to his previous birth home. And all the previous birth parents, friends, everybody, wife, children, they all recognized, yeah, he's my father. He knows everything about us. And when the girl got married, his daughter got married, they made him, as a child, do the Kanyadan. Okay? So the same man, as he grew up, become teenager, he says, now enough. I don't want to be part of it now. We should stop. I've got my life of this life, this body, these friends. They made him sit with his old friend too, who is now a very old person. And this guy's a teenager now. And they were best of friends, you know from his previous life. They used to go to different places, sit around. Now he's not his friend in this life at all. He was completely aloof from everybody. Just see. This is the proof in our last discussion that this same boy who was in his previous life, we would think, oh my God, if I remember my previous life, what will I do? Here's an example. That boy remembers, and now he says, I don't want to go there. I want to be in my life now. I want to live my life. Now I've got my parents. My friend, who is a different friend now than the previous life friend. He has no connection with the previous life friend. You see? He has got connection with his, this life friend of his own age. <laughs> he may have his wife also in this age. <laughs> this life. Then previous life. All gone. It's heartbreaking. Material world is heartbreaking. I'm telling you. You may think, oh my God, how it is exciting to know about previous life. It is heartbreaking. Okay. Right. So saying that, let us come to our discussion. You all have had time to think about what is bigger than life. It's a, it's a general discussion. I want all of us to think, the thinkers. You will see this in so many um, a famous authority is speaking so many things, you know, very logical thinking, and you feel so nice he's speaking. Is that just nothing but teasing your intelligence? So we are doing the same. 
Only thing what we are doing is preparing you guys to be intellectually thoughtful and being independent. And while as we do so, we are able to independently think what is right, what is wrong, and act accordingly. This is the purpose of our discussion today, of this class. Is that okay? Right. So, please raise your hands who have thought about this point in last week. It means this week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who else? Who else? I thought about this week. Raise your hands. Because I don't like people who just come for uh, for sake of enjoyment, you know. Because I can make it very happy, very nice. And you say it's a nice thing. But I want people to think about it. Yeah, there's no free meal with me, right? So who wrote? Who? Only two people? Only two? Parts for who? Nobody else thought about it this week? Not even after my making a mention that what it is? Oh, it's sad, you know. Seriously. Okay. So what am I supposed to do? You all came for just free lunch or something, you know? You've been discussing this for two, three weeks. What, why can't you think about it? You know? It takes energy out of me. Why should, I, why should I be the only person thinking? And you will think in the program. How is that? How is that? And we think about the program the whole week. You don't think about the program. This is not right. Tell me, is it right? Or it should be equal participation? You want equal rights? They are giving you equal rights, but you are not prepared, prepared, prepared to take equal rights. Tell me. So then we will give you unequal rights then. We will give, we'll give you all of you unequal rights. Is it a good thing? Tell me, is it a good thing? Okay, you promise me in my class, if I write down the name, what is the topic, you want to think about it from now onwards. You promise me from now onwards. I want to hear from every one of you individually. I'll start from left to right who is in the top. So, Namada Madhadi, tell me, you will promise me? Hi, Krishna Sorry. Yes, tell me, you promise? Sorry, just a one Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yes. Sorry Prabhuji, I got distracted with uh, somebody was at the door. That's fine. Yeah, I'm saying is, have you thought about this topic in this week? What is bigger than life? No, Prabhuji. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I was, I'm very upset about this. So I'm saying that now, you, for me to continue this, you promise that from now onwards, on every class when I'm giving, you must prepare and come. Think about it and come. If I, any topic name is there, think about the topic name. I don't Please want go. people to just come just like that. I, if you, you may want, all of you may want to become mediocre. I'm not a mediocre. I don't want all of you to be mediocre. I want to be, all of you to be very think, thoughtful, intelligent people. Tell me, promise me? Now onwards. Yes, yes. yes Prabhu. Yes. It's a promise. Okay. Prasanna Prabhu, now tell me about you. You thought you thought about it. Okay, yeah, yeah that's fine. That's good. Vath Prabhu has thought about it as well. What about Varun? Yes, Prabhuji. Uh... I haven't thought about uh, yeah. So now topic. onwards, yeah. From now onwards. Now, now onwards, I will uh, ponder about the topic and be proactive with the discussion. Yes, please. Thank you very much. So think about it. Okay, with me only tigers can come with me. Sheep cannot go with me. I'm telling you, sheep cannot walk with me. They cannot. I walk alone. I don't walk with a herd. Right? Right. Okay. Yes, Swami Madhuri, tell me. 
Yes, Prabhuji, I promise from now on we more. I'll think about the topic that you sent on. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, Sushma, tell me. Yes, Prabhuji, I'm promise that I'll think about the topic before coming to the. Class. Yeah, contemplate about it. You know, what is it about? What can be different angles and all that, and be prepared and come. Do you want Shimada to tell me? Yes, Prabhuji, I'll definitely think about it more in depth. Yes, and please thank you. For the discussion. Okay, so Pan Prabhu, Hare Krishna. Yes, Prabhuji, yes, I will definitely remember. Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, you you can think about it. What is the harm in thinking and planning? Yes. You know what it must be. Must be like that. Must be like no. this. Yes. Okay, Shri yes, Prabhu, tell me. We can't see all of you. You switched off. Hare Krishna. Uh, yes, Prabhuji, I'll think, but I missed the last week's lecture, so I do not know what has been discussed. No, no, this was three weeks ago. This point, whatever I write down, my, my topic of discussion, that I want everybody to think about it, what should be the point of discussion, what is it, what is it not? Uh, yes, Prabhuji, I remember this discussion, but uh, I, I wasn't able to hear the whole session that time, you know. Yeah. No, there, there was no session. We're starting for the first time now. Oh, is it? Uh, I think I, it was discussed, Prabhuji, one of the sessions. Uh, no, it was not. It went to something else. Are you going to be thinking about it from future or not? Yes, yes, Prabhuji. Okay, thank you. Sanjeev Prabhu, tell me. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yes, uh, definitely. I will. I will think about it. I thought a little bit, but I didn't go deep very much. But uh, okay. yes, yeah, still. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Avinash, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, bro. We always think. We always discuss. We always discuss about all these classes. <clears throat> yeah. This this points are very important. I want all of us to. I've got something in my mind to make sure which direction we are going. You no, know? all of us. Yeah. Thank you. Dolly Mazaji? She's not here. Okay. Sushi Mazaji? Yes, Prudy, I'll think about this. You contemplate you should, and show your face also. Yes. Sushi Mazaji? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, um, I have thought about it a little bit. Oh, very nice, very nice. That's very good. <laughs> you thought about it for the in this week? Uh, yeah, actually, Prabhuji, when we finished uh, two weeks ago, I was thinking that time as well. And when I just uh, read your, uh, e uh, sorry, your WhatsApp message, I thought about it yesterday as well. That's good. Thinking about it is very important. I don't know if it's not right or wrong, but I no, no, that's okay. That is not relevant. Okay. Thinking about it is important. Because I want people to come and think, you know. Thinkers should come. That's my idea. Nothing else. Nothing, no, no other reason. Okay. We all here now. Please switch on the cameras now. Those will start. Okay. Now, what do you think now? We're sitting thinking on your feet. Those who have not thought about it will think on their feet now. Let us start the discussion. Who is who is starting the discussion here? What do we understand? What is bigger than life? Suchi Matari, what is bigger than life? What do you think? See, I'll tell you one thing. Every answer is a good answer. Provided you will be able to justify it. What we're talking about now here is logic. Understand this? And logic doesn't have any baseline. I'm teaching you this for logic. It doesn't have any baseline. There is no law book referring to logic. That is the reason why most of the people who are motivational speakers and big, big gurus, they speak logic. They don't speak scriptures. Because if you speak scriptures, then you can have a law book behind. Scripture says this. Why are you saying that? You cannot say that way. You say this only. But if you speak logic, you can speak anything as long as you are able to convince yourself and the other person. You understand this point? This is this point of argument that we want to understand. Okay, this logic because in the preaching, this is going to happen, it is going to happen more and more. Okay, right, let's see. 
Sushi Mataji, can you start off, please? What do you, what do you, what do you think? What is bigger than life? Where are you? I've seen Hello. your name like, somewhere, but I don't see your face. Yes, yes, bro. I'm joining with other device. Just give me two minutes. Uh, okay, uh, you can join. No problem. We'll move on. Big... Yes, yes, bro. Yeah. Okay, Sushi Mataji, tell me. What do you think? What is bigger than life and why? Every answer is the right answer, as I said. As long as you are able to give a very strong, logical explanation to this. Uh, Roji, when I gave the answer previously that my parents are bigger than life, then you gave the answer uh, that you are attached with it and you love yourself more than some others. <laughs> Not that <So>. you. <laughs> I said we all of us. <laughs> don't, don't accuse me like this. You please love your parents. Don't get me wrong. It's best. I also love my parents. You know. All I'm saying is that was another point of discussion. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> I had a discussion with my parents on that. Oh my and, God. Uh, and they're still coming to the program. <laughs> they allow you to come to the program. Oh God. Yeah, and my mother was telling me that you don't love me more than your life and I was, I said yeah I'm, I love you but I, I don't love you more than life because then I'll be attached like then I will be loving more to myself than you so she didn't understand much she said okay she, she was like okay whatever you are saying it's right only but you love me right I said yes I love you <laughs> then but the whole week, then I forgot like what, 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 what I was uh, discussing with my parents and everything because of uh, all the activities in the whole week. But then again, uh, like some some time ago, I was thinking and I was like, nothing is important uh, for me for now, because my parents everything has answer. If I say something like this, and then if it comes, then. I will be like, I will, I, my answer will be wrong. So I think. No, 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 no. Don't think like this. The answer is not wrong. Don't get me wrong. That point was important what you raised. That's why I said it. Yeah, yeah, parents. Then my parents are not important. I will be attached. Then what is important for me for now? I don't think nothing. So what is, is bigger important. than life? I'm talking not important. The question is, what is bigger than life? Uh, I'm not talking about yes, important. Yesterday I had one incident. I can share. Maybe that. Maybe that. This question will be uh, related for me. Can I share that story? I. I was. I was just going with Avinash Prabhu's home, and there was a dog sitting over there. And I am very afraid of dogs. So uh, I. I was thinking. Now the. the like I. I started uh, going to stairs, and he was. He was ready to. Uh, uh, he was ready to bite me and i just i just said uh, one word abhi just spirit soul niklengi and mommy bahut zor ke i just i just shouted like this and and the point i said like this ki abhi spirit soul niklengi my my spirit soul will go away from my body and the second time i said mamma the these are the two points so after before this discussion i was thinking that maybe my spirit soul is bigger than my life. Like if my spirit soul is not there, I'll not be able to sustain in this life. So maybe is this the answer? I I am I'm, I'm totally wrong about it. But then yeah, okay. I don't know what what will be bigger than life. But yeah, I was thinking like if my life is not there, my spirit soul is not there, then how can I live my? This is very big. This is bigger than my life. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Soul is bigger than life. That's correct. Okay, thank you very much. It's compelling. Can I share Prabhu on this? Because she shared this with me yesterday. Yes. When she saw, she saw the dog. I live on the third floor, Prabhu. And normally she will take a lift and come there. So she she said later that I came, I don't know how I uh, came to your level, third level. It was so quick. I never realized unless I got into your flat. And she was so scared. And, and I, I didn't realize that what was the situation. Then we went out. We were going out together. And the dog was sitting just in front of the lift door. 
Yeah, we can't come out unless we jump over the dogs. So he was even I think, and I start to push the dogs. I know what is I don't know. It's a big, big dog. It's a very it's, yeah. It's a big and but it's a peaceful dog. You don't necessarily bite you. That's what I understand. But Sushi doesn't think that way. And then uh, we were carrying some documents with us, <laughs> and Sushi was even going out with me. And she was repeating the same thing which you had shared about the soul and spirit soul and the spirit soul is sitting here and the spirit soul can bite me and what will happen to me and yeah, all those things. And then she dropped one, one piece of paper there. <laughs> then I started, <laughs> she's so scared and that's in front of the dog's mouth, no? Oh. And I said, no, it's turn off my spirit soul. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought this is bigger than life. Yeah. Than life. <laughs> so she was very scared. She's scared of dog too much. Yes. dog is in front of the house where I live. Yeah, there's a dog which is actually for a security. Yeah, but this she remembered her life and she was preaching me also. <laughs> See, the dog is for security, Sushi Mataji. So you are not a thief. Why are you worried? <laughs> no, no, everybody's worried. Somebody's worried about somebody's worried about mosquito also. So don't worry. No? Somebody worried about uh, spiders also. You are just worried about a dog. Somebody worried about about tiger, you know. So you are worried only about dog, not about tiger. So you are very brave. Or lion. You worried about lion? No, don't worry. That's okay. Very nice. Okay, good point. Good point. Sushi Mataji, what do you think? What is bigger than life? Yeah, bro, it's a bit tricky, but I... It is. It's the only logical question. Every answer is a, is a good answer. Every answer is the right answer. How much you can able to convince, that's what people do on YouTube channel. I'm teaching you that. So don't be enamored by people who can speak nicely and give you some big, big answers. You know, you can give the big answers too. That's what I'm saying. What is bigger than life? Uh, it's, I think so. Nothing is bigger than life. Life is itself is a very valuable stuff. I think it's been amazing. Yeah, that's true. Now, what if I change it a little bit? What remains? That will make it very easy for people, okay? What I'm, when, I, when I twist it a little bit, it becomes very easy, all right? So I'm just saying this. Now. Be careful. Um, what precedes life or what remains after life? Soul. Okay, that's an answer. Thank you. Yeah. That's bigger than life. Yeah. Just like what Suchi Mazari said, right? That's correct. Krishna. This is a this is a philosophical Krishna conscious answer. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. But is it very I want this is correct. There's nothing wrong with the answer. Yeah, I know, I know. Something very tangible. We want very tangible. Swami Mataji, come on, let us hear from you now. You're a doctor now, so let's understand this now. What is that which precedes, which precedes life? It finishes, you know, life finishes, it still exists. Uh, Raji, Hare Krishna Raji, I was uh, thinking uh, on the class only, and when you said what is bigger than life, I was thinking that uh, what can be bigger than life? I was, uh, it was similar like the Shishti Mataji at first that any answer that I give, it's not really bigger than life and anything that I do, if it comes that will I continue doing this? Uh, if it is a question of I'll die, then I will stop doing that. It can be yes. very important, like my studies yes. or my career or anything. If it is like, yes. he, uh, do you want to be a doctor or do you want to be alive? I will say I don't want to be a doctor. I want to be alive. So I was just thinking on those lines and I thought that I did come to the point that, okay, that the only thing that can be bigger than life is something that will be with us even after we are dead. Yes. So I think the only thing that came to my mind by that was Prabhuji that I think it can only be service to Krishna because even if we, even if we do it in this life and we die, then even, it will be with us in the next life as well. And I, I, it was a very, I don't know, it felt like it was a philosophical answer. It was a very boring answer. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I was not... Yeah, thank you very much. Wonderful. Yes, Path Prabhu, what do you think? What is bigger than that? You thought about it. Let's hear from you. What is... Yes, 
which continues without one after life yeah so i thought about a different question now the question has a twist like you simplified yes. it a lot yes uh, so there was a lot of levels involved till i reached yes. this point yes but so prim uh, I, i if you want i can go through the levels in please, a brief please. or you please please you know these are got levels you think oh. you think it is simple it's not that simple okay so prabhu uh, preliminary i thought that bigger and then life uh, you know like what this there there is ad of this brand mcdowells number one this beer whiskey brand it come used to come on tv yeah, larger whiskey. than life right yeah it's not beer it's a whiskey larger than life yeah whis- i don't know yeah <laughs> so larger than life something how so, do i know i know yeah so larger than life right so uh, and it showed not larger, like bigger uh, than life not larger yeah, than life bigger that's, than life that's that's where the levels come at so okay. first it was la- larger than life right then i uh, thought about yeah. the larger than life means a uh, grandiose or something you know very impressionable uh, experience or circumstance or a personality that is larger than life right then uh, then i thought about this that the word is not larger is bigger bigger and larger you might confuse but it's bigger right so bigger than life meaning that uh, something obviously then uh, all these experiences and like somebody can just uh, sit at a mountain top or have a very good view or just sit at the side of ocean or beach on a beach and they can have that experience which can be you know very mesmerizing or impressionable and they would call it a larger than life i had a larger than life experience here you know sitting here but then it came to bigger than life which changes everything because bigger than life meaning that something that obviously uh uh it's it should not it should not end with life it should go on after the life yes and uh, yeah and uh, uh, going after the life then obviously there are two way there are a lot of things that go after that what we mean by after the life like after the life in the material world after the life in the spiritual world so if we are in the material world only uh, like all philosophical answers of course because we are talking about something after life and most people don't know what comes after life right so um in the material world we still have our ego mind and intelligence that you know carries with us from life to life that is our impressions in the mind our samskaras whatever we have the impressions right it go on life to life so uh, they are there and then if we are talking about spiritual world then we leave all of this subtle body also and only soul goes there so there we have love for krishna and uh, what we discussed in the sessions before this session so i i i thought uh, like i was able to come to conclusion that this is all connected but it not exactly pinpoint how all of that is connected so i'll be thinking on that on my toes in the class okay. thank you that will help everybody to think i had a long i'll give a small risk uh, a small this thing to a devotee here i think we had a long session with shital prabhu on this point so if he is listening he may it may jog his memory in the past i've had some sessions with him this points i've spoken to him but not in this manner it was just a statement in some points but let him think if he can come out with that points you know and we'll continue thank you sir patu it's very good soul and we had this aspects of things which is correct yes padma prabhu let's hear from you that will help everybody else who not thought you know to jog their memory and make it fresh you know as you are running and then we'll ask about the end and then we'll come to the conclusion because you will have enough time to think about what i i spoke many things to him but i told him one specific thing like this yes so i think uh, my answer is wrong after hearing other devotees answer i thought it like uh, i thought that purpose of life is more uh, bigger than life because i thought it other way that people who take their life what do they lack so they think that they have ended their purpose in life therefore they take their lives so i was thinking in such a way so i thought it might be some smaller purposes or a big end goal that is leading the life just very good you shot a small answer any more you give a bit more answer to this So that's very nice. good continue continue yeah and as i said this is a again i'm saying what what we're achieving here is that everything that you see in the name of so called spiritual things right or motivational things 
is only logic people talk about. They put a theory and they give you answer around it. And they convince you. And you say, yeah, wonderful. Right? What I'm trying to teach in our, sorry, not teach, I'm not a master in this, but what we're sharing amongst us is that we don't want to be cheated with this. We want to be grounded in our philosophy of Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Especially those who will be taught by Srila Prabhupada. Okay? So that we can come, we do not get enamored by this logical questions. Because there are a lot of fights and arguments, even in Krishna consciousness, about logic. Women's rights, equal rights, gay rights, you see, um, dog rights, veganism, non-veganism, everything is, it's a very big thing. And big, big devotees are involved in these arguments and fights and all that, you know. What we are trying to achieve here is, is that we, we want us to look at every aspect of logic thinking and we are grounded to philosophy. So what we're doing right now, again, I'm saying is this, that we're just trying to make a point that what others are speaking, all of you can be speaking too. But what they do not speak and don't understand is our scriptures that we understand. Is it okay? So let us move further on. So every, every answer is the right answer as long as you can back it. You can convince it. Okay? Right? So you want to rephrase your answer, Prabhuji? Pradhima Prabhu? But when you ask the question that uh, it should go after like, like Yes. Got me thinking that my answer needs uh, justification or I need to think more about it to frame okay. it better. Okay, I simplified it, but it's still got layers. That's fine, no? All okay. All right. Yes. Yes, Varunji. Let's hear from you. you. You had some time to think on your feet. And those who who are watching on YouTube, if you want to write, you can write down your in the comment section. We'll look at you too. Wonderful. Hare Krishna, Rabuji. Yes. Uh, what I think bigger than life and what I've seen in my like in my day-to-day -day observation uh, is uh, love and affection. The proper love and affection I've seen like uh, the people who, who are just young, who start uh, getting affect, uh, having some affection towards the other, other gender, whatever it is, they stop doing logical things. The logic dies. They do all sort of thing. So I think that love and affection is bigger than life at that point, where you don't expect anything, but you give, give, give. So at that time, you don't think about any logic and any spectrum. So I think love is uh, bigger than life. Okay. Thank you. You need to think a little bit more. What remains after life? Yes, Divan Shimataji, you had some more time to think. Let's hear from you. But it's not a test. Please understand, this is not a test. All answers are right answers. All we want to do is sometimes you may feel I'm putting you on the spot. But yes, that's right. Because you guys are leaders of future. Okay? In our Hare Krishna weekend, you are our leader. So you will be put on spot. Okay? So how good you can speak and articulate your thoughts is a training here. Yes, please. Please. Uh, yes, Prabhuji. So the last time you asked this question, I had a similar answer as Pradim Prabhuji as well. Like mm -hmm. the, the end goal of life, what you want to attain through your life. That as as for any individual, that would be bigger than their life. That what they want to attain through it. But if I think more about along the levels of this question that you asked, that what remains after life, and I were I was thinking about it. Uh, I would like, I would think about it in this way that what happens after this life ends would probably be bigger than this life. That is where I go after this. That is a bigger question that nobody knows. And, uh, uh, yeah, like after this life ends, what happens after that? Where does my soul go? What, like the, for a lot of people, that's that's something that, that they don't even know that that happens. And for us, we don't know what our activities will lead up to. So 
in that sense i think that because this life is just this 60 70 or whatever years but after that what happens next that that i think should be bigger than life because that will be the guiding principle of what i do during this life where i want to go so okay thank you so what is answer where you go after this life and where you go after the life it's and bigger than life yeah what happens after this life okay thank you thank you right okay i'll add another another point on this okay for those who are and others can join in too um what cannot be captured if you if you want to capture something if you want to win something yeah or if you want to destroy something what needs to be destroyed first if you want to change something what needs to be changed first see how you go okay these are very subtle think about it memories yeah. Yeah, that is fine. So, what is bigger than life? What is sustained after life? Memories, okay. All right. So you need to justify it. Yeah, in order to go forward, we need to delete the past memories. But and yeah, in order to destroy it, we we capture some memories. We add a new memories. To that old memories so those old memories get destroyed somehow are deleted but it's not completely destroyed but we can add new memories to it uh, that is what you you asked the question what cannot be captured yes uh, the memories uh, which are in the subconscious mind it cannot be captured it's it it just be in with our subconscious mind uh, whatever we think subconsciously it cannot be captured it's it's just there with us and it can be deleted somehow and it it cannot be deleted but it can be uh what do you say with yeah we can add new memories to those i, I am not able to uh, explain but yeah the subconscious mind memories cannot be captured but your subconscious mind is your subconscious mind how will others be affected Bigger yeah. than life of yours. Yeah. So find an answer for that, and you can give an uh, argument around your answer. Memory. Memory. Okay. Yeah. Structure your arguments around it. Okay. Yes, Pass Prabhu. Yeah. Good. Now more will come. Churning will happen now. I like churning. Thank you, Shambhu. Yes. Um, yes, Prabhu. Something bigger than life that we cannot capture. And uh, that affects others also. Yeah, yeah. And that, we, and that we need to change, uh, change before we move on to other things. Are uh, well, Prabhu, I, I think that our uh, desires, desires, okay. Uh, yeah, our desires. Um, because obviously our desires affect other people in the world based on what we desire, right? And um. They cannot be captured, like because what our mind is wanting. I'm just thinking on a very, because this is again a second twist to the question. So, yes. uh, desires, yeah, desires. I think, Prabhu, and they affect other people. And if we want to move on to something better in life, we need to change what we desire. Like, mm. okay, okay. Thank you. Mm. You must give a compelling argument for this. You know, it's a very lame argument. All answers are right answers, as long as you can give a very strong feel and touch answer. You understand what I'm trying to say? Most of the time, motivational speakers and so-called spiritual speakers who are not referring to scriptures, they give an answer and they become right because they give a good, solid reason to believe the answer to be. Do you understand this? This is called motivational speaking. All right. So give a good answer. Give a good. You no, know, if this is what you want to be clear, this is the answer. Right. I need to know, structure it. Have a foundation around it. You know, so, um, full proof. Yeah. Sanjeev, who tell me? Hare Krishna, Bhuji. <clears throat> um, 
your actions, your character. Uh, yes. Yeah, people remember what you, how you What is bigger than life? How you, yeah, yeah. Your soul yeah. is bigger than life, but uh, in in that regard, um, like, yes, how how you lead, how you led your life, people will remember that you are a good person or bad person, or yeah, yeah, your actions were yeah, your personality, maybe yes. Give me one answer. Don't give me all these four, five, six answers. You think about what is the one thing, and have a structure around it. Everything is an answer. It's logical. It is a logical yeah, but... <laughs> foundation. Everything is right. Yes, right. The action, yeah, the, your the, actions the, uh, builds your character, and and then it makes your personality. So, um, yes, probably your personality, your character. Is fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Krishna. Um, I yeah. was. My answer was similar to Sanjeev Prabhu's, um, in that your legacy, in, term, in a material answer, I'm not talking about any spiritual answer here, mm -hmm. but your legacy is bigger than your life. Like what impression you leave on other people mm -hmm. will remain after you um, after you pass to another birth. Whether that means, you know, if you look at famous actors, famous people, all those people 200, 300, 400 years um, away, and we're still talking about them. So that's also larger than life. And then when you talk about yourself and your family and generation through generation, so what impression you've left on other people is larger than your life. Yeah. So what is that? What impression you put in? What is that? Now, now, now I want all of you to think on this. That's correct. What, what is that? All is the right answer. What is that? It should come to a way in which everybody will be able to relate it. It's a yes, that's right. That's correct. Yes, Bob Prabhu. Your memories? Yeah. You talk about memories? Have you got some strong mem about memories? Uh, no, bro. I talked about desires. Uh, uh, but desires. Uh, um, Excuse me. Yeah. I have, I'm going a uh, level below, like more fundamental level. And I'm yes. trying to give a good argument for that, as you said. So, Prabhu, yes. um, I, I think that the kernel the seed for all these things um, are our thought like the answer to the question is thoughts desires i just went one below thoughts and uh, why thoughts because thoughts shape our actions thoughts also shape our desires and our actions then shape our life which some people said itself is larger than life but okay but thoughts shape our actions thoughts shape our desires thoughts shape what we want and these desires then have impressions on a subtle body and then they also carry forward into the next life so what i think the thoughts that we have what contemplations that we do uh, which also gives rise to our desires right so i i think that is larger than life bigger than life sorry Okay. What do the others think about this? What does everybody think? Is this correct? Two people have raised their hands. Who are the two icons? They just give a number there. Yes, Suchi Mata. Yes. Okay. What do you think? Is the right answer? So you might want to say uh, something else. Sorry. You want to say something else? Some other point? Yes, bro. Uh, yeah, that, that was a good point raised. But uh, thoughts... But. Uh, yeah, but thoughts... Yeah, can be. Uh, we have a lot of thoughts, but thoughts ka, there is not. Uh, we cannot have like I can have uh, three, four, five, six, or many thoughts coming at one time. So thoughts are uh, not very reliable stuff. But what I think is intention is more because as the line of conversation was going on, I was thinking that at the end. Uh, the manner, the personality, the desire, the thoughts, but the intention behind it all is what matters and what stays with people. In what is the intent intention. of, yeah, the intention uh, that drives the action. Hmm. So that's okay. That's thank you. Is. Yeah, do you give some foundation there that people will be convinced about this answer? This is the only answer. Most correct answer. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. What others think is Path Prabhu's answer correct answer?
यस वरुण जी प्रभु जी आई कैन आई पार्शली एग्री और आई वुड से आई हाफली एग्री विद दैट बिकॉज थॉट्स डिफाइन व्हाट वी वांट टू डू विद द लाइफ सो इट इज ऑलवेज बिगर देन लाइफ बट व्हाट माय पार्ट इज लाइक आर गोल्स डिफाइन अवर थॉट्स सो गोल्स आर बिगर देन लाइफ लाइक वी यूजली हैव आई सी पीपल विजनरी पीपल हैव थर्टी फोर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ गोल्स सो गोल्स are the basis of everything for that person's life okay thank you yes there were two people who raised their hands prabhu prabhu yes prabhu prabhu i wanted to raise that uh, same point varun prabhu just said uh, to back mm-hmm. up my point that uh, mm-hmm. purpose is greater than uh, bigger than life because thoughts lead to uh, some purpose right and uh, even uh, sanjeev prabhu and krishna prabhu said one point that we leave impressions that is bigger than life so in order to leave impressions uh, like some people might not have that goal that they ha- they want to leave some impression they might have leave, uh, want to live some uh, regular or normal life some everyone has different purposes and that's how they lead their life so i thought uh, i think purpose is bigger okay thank you very much very good shushi mother you also had raised a point before you had your hand so yes please yes prabhu ji i agree with par prabhu uh, because mm-hmm. thoughts will lead to next like whatever we have thought at that moment when we are leaving the body that that particular thought will only lead to the next life what we will become so thoughts play a very important role okay thank you wonderful yes par prabhu you have raised your hand again uh, <clears throat> yes sir like if you want to you can go to other person i just wanted to answer rebuttal like for other things but if it, that's allowed uh yes yes of course of course okay so uh bro i i i have i think that goals and purpose even, first of all intention uh, is for an action that germinates from a thought so that is there second about uh, goals and purpose i think goals and purpose are nothing but distilled thoughts that we have clarity on so yeah that's where i live okay thoughts and purposes goals are we have got clarity okay thank you thank you what do what do you think sir sadi mataji hari krishna prabhu ji um uh, originally i was uh, uh, my answer was uh, uh, what is bigger than life is uh, desire because uh, because we have lots and lots of desires which are accumulated through each and every birth um and then it could be desire to serve krishna then we are liberated and if it is not it if it is some material desire then we take another body and uh, uh, as shushti mata ji said that um, what whatever thought we have at the end of the uh, end of when we are finishing our life material body here uh, that like krishna says ant kale chamame vansmaran muktva kale varu so whatever thought we have at that time um, that body we will attain so uh, that was i that's what i was thinking but uh, your thoughts are your thoughts how does it influence others um also the other thing which we when we were discussing that what is that influence others and after you are gone still have impact on others yes yes um so i think it's the behavior which um uh, you had yeah, among the society among the society among the families countries whatever be, what behavior you had hmm um, okay okay could you fortify this answer um yes. yes prabhu ji like what we uh, remember for like the krishna takes so many in incarnations in in on, on this material plat uh, world and then he shows by his behavior what what how we should be in this material world how we have to like uh, he took um, he he t- took avatar as shri ram and then he showed by his uh, personal examples 
how we have why, why what how should we behave here uh, so uh, with all these incarnations we learn a lot of things so that is how he behaved in that particular situations okay yes, okay thank you thank you very much we've got two more people who raised their hand and also okay. Sheila Prabhupada, uh, how he showed by example everything by his own behavior uh, to towards the devotees, how Guru Maharaj um, uh, okay. showed everything to us, how to live and how to leave the body. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, Padma Prabhu, you want you want to say something? I had one question. If uh, this question is answered, then maybe it would back up my point. Okay. So I was just thinking it might be very wrong. Is uh, like Krishna consciousness is the is it a thought or is it a uh, purpose? So if ah, it's what our purpose? Very good, very good. Yes, yes. It might be objective. Like I was just thinking, is it a thought or is it a purpose of that? So if it's a thought, then it would be greater than this. Okay, right. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Sushi Mataji, who was the other person who raised the hand? They put it down. I don't know. The two people who raised their hand. Yes, Prabhuji. Yes. I was thinking about deeds. Whatever deeds we perform. So you're the third point now. You're doing third points. You should have one point and stick to it and give all the arguments around it. It's okay. I'm just telling you. I'm just training you. This is okay. You can yeah. have deeds. No problem. Have five. No, five I was arguments. thinking about the thought, but then you said that what uh, thought will be different for each one of what my thought will not differ from. Uh, it may differ from others' thought. I'm thinking. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned to Sarasri yes. Mataji, this thought will not remain. Your thought. Personal, personally. Personal mm -hmm. yeah. But then uh, there was, there was also, I was thinking about deeds. If my, if whatever I think, if I'm doing it and if I perform it intentionally or unintentionally, the, the kind of good deeds or bad deeds, as per my thought, I will perform the deeds. So that deeds impressions will be left whenever when I when I finish my life. It may remain. The impressions will remain. The deeds okay. I perform. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Yes, Varunji. Hare Krishna. Uh Prabhuji, I lately thought this thing uh in last couple of months that not not uh, like most of the things are temporary we may change the goal we may change our thoughts we may change our purpose uh, in uh, different times but i think truth is uh, bigger than life what is uh, the reality what is the truth which cannot be changed that is bigger than life so give give it's an answer now give us a fortifying answer around it so, uh, Prabhuji, I have seen that uh, I've I've seen a lot of people who are uh, who do not believe in uh, soul, who do not believe in karma, who do not believe in any life cycle or anything. Lately, they will uh, get the experiences, some NDs, not near death experiences, some uh, some actions, uh, the, some reactions of their actions. See, they see the uh, they say lately that okay, this is my karma. That is why I am facing this disease or something. So I think that the truth, that the truth of uh, our actions uh, define our reactions. The soul uh, stays with us, and uh, as you have given the example, that was very scientific. Ki Haryana ka that guy uh, was, has got this another body. So the truth remains the uh, the same. That we are getting new bodies as per our actions. We are getting new every new day as per our actions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We've got 15 more seconds of debating and then we'll come towards the concluding part. We require some time to conclude. Okay. Good. Others, please, please come in. Join in. Hare Krishna Prabhu. I, yes, I yes, think yes. the opportunity is the biggest thing which we get as a human body. Opportunities we get to take action. Opportunity to take, get, uh, uh, get going. Opportunity to actually do things. So whatever you want to achieve. So I think the biggest thing is the opportunity uh, which we get as a human life. Okay. How will it remain after you've gone? 
so that is again if you got the society you, you can become a, a role model you can be a, a role model you can uh, give some something back to society okay yeah, you get an opportunity so there are a lot of opportunity all over the place but who can take the advantage of this opportunity yeah that is like because a lot of people miss opportunity and then yes. they regret yeah Okay. Those who are able to identify opportunities can be successful in life, and success is what is being seen by people. Yes, whatever you want to. Okay, thank you. Shidrabu, you think about it, okay? I'll come to you at the end, okay? Towards by 6.25, 6.30, I'll come to you, okay? If you remember, we have discussed a couple of times, you know? I'll come to you. If you want to speak something else, you're free to do so. About what we discussed, okay? If you have some other points, it's fine. Please, please. But that point, if you remember what I said, then don't come conclude right now. If yeah, sorry, Prajit. I'm not sure which point exactly you were talking with him. Oh, then, then, you can, then you can speak. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> we used to speak long ago in Newlyn Community Center, you know, we stand out of the program. At the time, I had said this once to you. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. No problem. That's all right. So that my answer is always right. This is not the case. All I'm teaching, all I'm saying is that we should be able to back up what we're saying with conviction and prove to others. You know, most of the time it's not what you say; it's how you say it. Remember this. Remember this. It's very important. Please advise. Yes. I had one question about that point where uh, desires and love and affection that it is. So when that Haryana guy changed his body, he had no affection. Uh, after some time, he had no affection for his previous birth. So he might have desires like, I want to raise my children, I want to love them. But when the body changed, that desire also changed. Now he wants very to love point. new... Very good uh, point. So how very good point. Yeah, very good point. So his body changed, desires changed. So how can it say influencing other people, the desire? For example, maybe if uh, if we if I get some body of an animal, I might have different desires, not that desire of a human. So Correct. That desire will change. Good point. Good point. So desires may not be very relevant. It changes. The example is there. I can show the video also. It's on YouTube. And they concluded that okay, as long as it's a child, child had this desire, you know. He remembered after when he grew old, it's over, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyone else, please? Come on, don't. Yeah, Hare Krishna. Yes, please. Um, just on the, my point on legacy. Um, for example, yes. legacy. If we look at Shri Prabhupada, for example. Yes. Um, the most important thing that Shri Prabhupada did was preach, and yes. because Shri Prabhupada preached. He, other people, other people's entire lives were impacted and they changed their lives. Yes. According to what Shri Prabhupada has said, even though Prabhupada is not materially or physically present. Yes. The whole movement is continuing. Yes. So, and it's also being passed down. The knowledge is being passed down from generation to generation again. Yes. So that, um, that is the impact. So what is that? Well, we can say that the spiritual knowledge of Shri Prabhupada gave. Yes, it's still, make it be, we should be able to give an answer which is universally acceptable to everybody. Whether you are Prabhupada follower, whether Christian, Islam, whoever, whatever. Yes, Suchi Madhari. Yeah, uh, so continuing this point uh, yes. and the previous one, uh, yes. The thoughts that germinated the intention, uh, taking Srila Prabhupada's example, the thought yes. that I want to give something to the society which is invaluable as Krishna consciousness, yes. that germinated the thought that, uh, uh, that the, the, the thought and that thought germinated the purpose of his life. And that's why it's interlinked. That intention to change, that intention, uh, say, uh, we can go to thought, that thought, and that thought, say, we can say that now the purpose is clear. And that purpose 
and so uh, coming back to uh, pradyumna prabhu's point that krishna consciousness cannot be a thought it can be a purpose which is germinated from that thought which is germinated with that intention to change how will explain it to ordinary person because no, no, the answers are see, all answers are absolutely right understand what i'm trying to say just bring it down to break it down to a level where ordinary people can understand christian muslim hindustani whatever it is carpenter engineer lawyer correct correct yeah. just articulate it well it should be pointed yeah. focus so, so the thought that i want yes. to do something that yes. is invaluable yes gives uh, gives us a purpose gives us that uh, direction that that path yes. that pathway that is the purpose and the purpose is to change or to uh, to do something invaluable that can remain with the society even if i am not physically here present so, so what remains what is not destroyed the purpose is not destroyed uh or the thought yeah, is not destroyed that thought is not destroyed which has a purpose so understand this point it has to be very clear Yeah. The thought is something which is bigger than anybody else. Right. Prabhu Prabhupada had knowledge, but he had a thought yeah. of thought. serving the whole world, saving the world. Very clearly defined purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thought. But then that thought can be good. Just let me. Yes. Thought can be good or bad. Okay. Or bad. You can you can kill a person, but thought remains. you cannot kill a thought can you mm -hmm. so stay with this now whole all of you this answer which i believe is an answer what is bigger than life which which precedes life after life is finished is the thought of the person you may kill a person you may not kill a thought the thought remains so krishna consciousness may be a philosophy but how to preach Implant impact in the world is a thought. So we have to be thoughtfully intelligent. I use a word there. Independently intelligent, and we should be very thoughtful. The thought is something which revolutionizes the whole society all the time. Good and bad. Good thought we talk about Prabhupada. Bad thought is about whom? the terrorism that big terrorist who has been killed in pakistan bin laden was killed but thought has been killed is the point you remember shita babu we had a discussion uh, yes prabhu ji i remember happy through the we talked about soch no soch we discuss on this point hindi mein soch bolte hai na soch i think soch. we took yeah, soch took so example of shiv sena as well at the time yeah Yes, so now he is long gone. But anywhere, any person can think about it, and he'll pick up the sword and start to kill people. You see, similarly, Krishna consciousness, because it is a thought made by Prabhupada, you cannot restrict it within four walls to say only if you do this, if you only if you do there, go there. Only you are Krishna conscious. The Krishna conscious can be sitting in one place. It's a thought. so whenever we as devotees if we have to be leaders of society then we will change the thought of the society to change the society a person may rob a bank guru maharaj had given this example a person may rob a bank so you will go and punish him correct this is what it is now but we would think why what made him rob a bank the thought Okay, he was poor. Does it give him? Does it give him the authority to go and rob a bank? Somebody else's money. So, is it poor poverty is really the reason? A good man may be poor, but he will not rob a bank. So, what is the answer? Poverty or something else? Rob a bank or thought? If the thought is pure, he will not rob a bank. I'm sure none of you will go and rob a bank if you are poor. Also, you won't think about it. But you know. it's not an answer it's not a good answer you see 
So this thought is so powerful that it remains. So it is very important that any person is able to communicate his or her thoughts very clearly to the next person who is willing to listen. And that thought when it is germinated in someone's mind, it remains. It works as a virus. The time comes, it purifies. You get the point? It's very simple. This is not complicated. Now, so people may identify with the thought. The more people identify, the more thought becomes bigger. So there is a reason why those people who are able to communicate the thought properly are good leaders. Everybody has thoughts. Everybody has thinking. But most of the people lack the communication ability to communicate the thinking. There is a parampara. Most of the time, the father may give a thought if the relationship with the child is good, <laughs> with the son or daughter is good, then the son or daughter may remember the mom. My father has taught me this. My mother taught me this. So it remains with the person, and with the family, and goes on. Similarly, if a, if a communication, if, a, if the person can communicate very well, then not only his family, but the whole society can be influenced by it. Good or bad? Thought is thought. So thought is actually something which remains when you are long gone. The teachings remain. That's correct. Teachings also remain when you're long gone. But eventually it was it started from a thought. Okay. All the preachers of the world, they are good preachers and the preaching remain. But originally it was a thought, right? Nobody knows Prophet Muhammad's how he looked like. May peace be upon him. But his thought remained, right? Of law of God. So that's why it is done. So also nobody knows the the how Lord Jesus Christ looked like. They make him look like a white man. He's not a white man. He, was, he appeared in Middle East when he was a brown man. You see? But no, they changed his, his physical appearance also painting wise to fit a particular kind of audience. He's not. He never, he's never white. It's impossible for him to be white. But a thought remained what he taught. You see? Yeah, that's how it is. Prabhupada, when Prabhupada were in Vrindavan, and after retirement, after sannyas, he was in Vrindavan, all alone. He had an intense desire, the thought, to take this message, the Vrindavan, to the world. This is what he said, I will. how will I take Vrindavan to the world? And now the whole world is coming to Vrindavan. Or making Vrindavan wherever they are, including their own home. Even if you don't have a garden, you may have one small space, create a nice place where some plants are there. It's a Vrindavan for you. What is wrong? Why do you need a big thousands of acres of land for having a Vrindavan? It's a thought. This is wrong, you see. So that is the reason why what we say and what we preach or teach is a thought. We're changing your thoughts. So thought is something which is so powerful, it can galvanize the whole society. In fact, it didn't galvanize the whole race towards one purpose. Have I given compelling evidence to what my answer was? Otherwise, why would Bin Laden's thought still remain? He is long gone. But the source remained, right? It remains. It will remain. Similarly, as Mahavishnu Goswami Maharaj said to me that Prabhupada also said, any person sitting under a tree anywhere in the world, he reading Prabhupada's books, can start a program, start a con, or start a Hare Krishna, or whatever it is. You cannot, you cannot hold a person's thought. You see? And this is very, very important. This is very, very important that how a person's thought is molded we should be giving them right thoughts. So the outcome is right. 
all of you correctly said that you know what what is the impression and the process and actions so for that the thought is good if you teach them correctly then the thought will become good thoughts i'm hungry i'm very poor i need money i will not go and rob a bank thought has to change okay sorry you don't have to agree with me put another points on it put a counter point to this i do not want you to become docile people yes it is good to be submissive that's right it had happened once you know when maharaj were saying something and maharaj said by hook or by crook you must perform krishna consciousness so maharaj looked at me and said what do you think by hook or by crook now i knew that crook doesn't mean you should become bad person you know yeah so what do you mean by crook maharaj said to me ask me to see that maharaj asked me I, i did not say anything so then just to recognize that i said by much crook also we must become you know? maharaj said no you cannot become crook and become krishna conscious you know so i wasn't docile but i agreed to what maharaj said but maharaj knew that i gave the conversation further points see so tell me counterpoints to this or you agree agree fine if not tell me now the thought can be of product of anything desire or whatever it is but a very clear desire and the process of communication is very important the more you communicate more effectively you communicate the more people will be influenced by your thoughts hari krishna babu ji yes uh, yes but i remember that clearly you discussed few times about thought that about terrorism and all that uh but yeah and when we see the example um chila prapad so, so thought it remains if it's backed by scriptures or backed could, by could be anything yeah yeah even even in their case like in opposite negative case they also wants to follow they, that fall because of the scriptures or something yeah. yeah they may think they may they may squeeze out some meaning from anywhere but even if that's not the case any other thought is thought is powerful hmm. we need freedom from is a thought yeah hari krishna prabhu yes uh, yes just, just one second prabhu ji just one second yeah so this is the point where i want hari krishna weekend to become a thought so it cannot remain one person centric of course you require one person to guard and all those things you know that is correct but it has to be a thought this i always say they may chop my chop my neck off neck off head off but there are many heads how many heads they don't never know where the heart is you see it can never stop somebody somewhere will start again again okay, oh, what was the interaction given like this i will do it i'll do it i'll do it full stop quietly start it again thought becomes a soch yeah sorry avinash prabhu i wanted to just make that point please yes prabhu so what is the source of thought prabhu yes it can be anything source of thought can be anything no, no, good no. or bad source source sort of thought is desire prabhu yeah could be prabhu ji but so, desire what, is bigger what? than desire Okay, you may say upbringing also bigger than than desire also. Yeah, because thought thought is there no, no, is some no, no, source. All I'm saying is desire comes from up upbringing. You are born in a in a human body, so desire is human human desire. In India, so if you are born in American body, your desire may be different. Upbringing may be different. So desire may be different. Similarly, thoughts can also be different depending on the body, bro. Ah, but one thing, the thought process is very important. See, thought is very important. It doesn't depend upon any upbringing or anything else. Desires, yes. But freedom, we want freedom, equal rights to white and and the black people. It came in America, not with everybody, but Abraham Lincoln. Is it so? And that was accepted by everybody else. सोच जो है 
it can come from desire which can come from upbringing which can come from previous births which is all this is correctly related absolutely right but ultimately it comes as a soch wo kya bol kar gaye kaise bol kar gaye kaise convince kiya logon ko aisa adolf hitler he had a thought and to to and to make sure it did he he convinced somehow with the aryan race and all that it was a big speaker you know everybody followed him सॉरी इज इट ओके प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जस्ट आई कंटिन्यू विथ दैट डिस्कशन वेरी लाइक आई आल्सो हैव डिस्कशन विद यू इवन लॉट ऑफ पीपल मे हैव थॉट्स लॉट ऑफ पीपल मे हैव डिजायर टू टेक दिस डू दिस बट दे डोंट डू इट या और दे आर नॉट डू इट एंड देयर ओनली फ्यू पीपल Rare, like as you give light, light uh, nice examples. So, what is the difference, bro? Because thoughts are there, desire is there, body is there, everything is there. Yeah, action. Yeah, that's right. Uh, people should be able to communicate things. You know how much one is one is. You can also be motivated to do things. You know. Only then, if you are very motivated, you will do other things. Others will not do it. You know, they are lazy. So, laziness, unlaziness, motivation, non-motivation, all these will come together. But ultimately, the thought. Which is to be communicated. The search, it remains when a person goes away. It remains always. That is more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just thinking that, as you're saying this, that it is so important that. we make sure who influences our thoughts that was a thought that came to my mind immediately like you know um who do you allow to influence your thought process then the next thing is they in their action and all that that is okay but even like even somebody influencing your thought process that is also like shila gurudev has a score don't allow uh, somebody to stay rent free in your uh thought process and i really like remember that immediately and i thought so that's how um we can protect ourselves in in not get influenced or get influenced by the right thing yeah i just thought about that like thank you yes thought about you raise your hand <clears throat> thank you bro for giving this chance sir krishna uh if you um i will correct me if i'm uh, wrong i was thinking that on the point of desire um you know, you know krishna uh, in the gita krishna lord krishna mentions that a lust only comes after we contemplate on something lust uh, succeeds yeah. contemplation right yeah. and contemplation about like even if we just dump like in layman terms if like you get some craving for a food right it's a thought before it becomes into a desire that you know you desire something so before it's like i want to eat let's say pav bhaji so it's pav bhaji is a thought that came to my mind why i was going somewhere i saw an ad it is struck to a thought i contemplated on the thought i visualized how pav bhaji would feel in my mouth the buttery taste and everything now it became a desire that i want to act on so uh, and, and that's what i'm lusting for then so doesn't uh don't desire succeed thought a contemplated thought becomes a desire jab possible that's right that's correct yeah. so first you thought about what the thought come in the first place some influence from somewhere so past yeah, life yeah some influence some impression past life krishna from within some what desires to who knows yeah uh, ah yeah. that's that life past life who knows past if if you are saying bro past life like, desires then important thing i'm not saying important thing so don't get caught up by this what i'm saying is is that the communication of thought just thought is not important some people may have brilliant thoughts that is not important what is important is acting on it acting on the thought uh, communicating the thought communicating communicating acting on it that is most important the communication part is a very very important thing everybody a man with a, every man with a dog 
has desire and it's his thoughts. In my opinion, I feel like this, but nobody listens to him. I believe we should do this. Yay, let's go. Nobody's there. You know, he's himself. Even his family members are not there with him. He's alone standing, you know. So it is very important that we are able to convey and motivate others. And you can do that if you are motivating ourselves. And if you can motivate yourself, if you are ready to stand alone. And there are very few people who will be willing to stand alone. So, all of you who are with me, only those people can be with me who can stand alone. Not that I'm great. and don't, don't get me wrong, please. But that is my thought. That is what I mean to say that we should be tigers. Tigers never, lions never uh, walk in, in uh, attack in, in groups. You know? They are in singular, singular. Sheeps and all of them are together because they're very weak people. They go with the crowd, you know, everywhere they go with the crowd. Even in devotional service, it's the same thing. One girl, everybody, else, everybody just say everywhere they do the same thing. Nobody is sitting here thinking, hold on, what is it for? Why is it like this? Mad rush, you should have become, become, we should be like this, we should be like that, we should be following this. One person goes, thousand people go, you say, he must be right. Let's, let's do it. How do you know he's right? Go to the source. Never says like this. You see, there's a wrong in many, many ways. And in the in the Kali Yuga, people want to always manipulate you and us to follow them. And all we are saying is think carefully before you follow anybody, including us. Only then you can become a leader. So we teach, we train, but at the same time, there is no written to say you have to follow Hare Krishna, we can and all this. No, no, no. It's voluntary if you want to do it. Wonderful. Otherwise, we are wonderful. We have taught you. Do whatever you want to do. Start in your own name. Perfectly all right. If you do it, you got blessings. Now also, you know also you got still blessings. If you do it, you are in the shelter. Know also you are still in the shelter. Don't worry. It's there. But it's a bit more here. Can't be defined, but still it's out there. So a person who is willing to give and open about things is always more powerful. He has nothing to worry about. One who is withholding things is always a scared person. A scary person can never give a thought. Remember this. Remember this. A scared person can never create leaders. He will create leaders who follow him or her. He will not create leaders who will follow independently him or her. Thought. And as long as we can keep this thought independent, it will continue in some way, shape and form. And Srila Prabhupada's movement will continue. The moment you to control this, it is not going to work. Yes? You had, somebody had raised a hand. Who was it? Sushti Mataji, Sushti Mataji? Hi. Yes, I guess you were here. Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Yes, Roji, I was uh, I was thinking about the uh, line shared by Purna Praja Mataji. Uh, mm. Someone can influence our thoughts. Mm. So is it about that if someone gives us uh, someone start influencing with a bad thought, then it then we get influenced by it. It's it's, it's a choice we make. Yeah, it's a choice we make. But uh, but somehow like l let's say. If, when we are small and the thoughts are mostly dependent upon our parents' thought, if they decide to uh, convince us or try to influence us with the thoughts which which they have, and they try to convince us, okay, this is how you think and this is how you become, yeah. then if they are thinking in a bad direction, then the thoughts will be of bad thought. And then yes, is it related to the bad thought or good thought or yes, it's yes, related yes. to the influence of the thought? See, people as a child, small child, you know, can be influenced. He doesn't have an independent thought. That is correct. So the parents have to give them the thoughts. You know, that is correct. Unfortunately, we have seen wrong thoughts are given to children. So when they grow up, they do not know any other alternative. That is correct. Okay, it is true. It is true. But ultimately, it is the thought which continues. 
Yeah, but not thought. Thought. Maybe Maybe it might be the See, Bin Laden's thought else to go and and kill people because they what 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 I'm 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 doing doing is is right. right? right? The 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 thought thought. important, right? and how it is conveyed. That's what I'm trying to say. Nothing else. But that's the know, influence of the thought. Yeah, that's right. But the how well it is conveyed, people can be influenced. You understand what I'm trying to say. If I'm giving you a thought, but a child, don't get caught up with the child and all that. Is it is it's innumerable examples for it. But I'm saying thought is the most powerful, which is legacy can remain after you go. Yeah. Is it is it is this but point sir, clear? To- yeah, but maybe someone is forced to uh, take that thought. As a child, yes. As an adult, is a choice. and maybe as an adult also like you you said laden they someone is forced to continue with that thought that is their choice but the thought is important but maybe if they do not have choice to continue so then it should not they should not ultimately that right now okay. you cannot change that the whole thought is everybody is finished when everything is finished when the thought will be finished okay that's laden's thought not There. That's right. The thought has to be finished. To finish terrorism, whatever you call it, the thought has to be finished, not the person. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Nothing else. But still, Other? I have so many. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. Yeah, that's correct. It's not about the thought. The thought is still there. If still the time, yeah. the thought is not finished, it it will still continue. Yeah. That's right. That's right. The thought has to be finished. Yes. So it's the thought that supremes. There is supreme of every. Once I die, thought will remain. So that's the reason why this a parampara goes. You know, teachings go. You see. But somehow, someone teaching finishes at this level. I I can't teach anymore. I'm done with my no more no more teaching. But somebody says, "No, I want to teach this further." So he teaches further, of course. You know, this how it is. Coach, yeah. coach. You can change a person. Uh, you can force a person to behave in a particular way. They will do it. But as Maharaj says, when this stands up, he will be in his own opinion. He will not change his opinion. So when he's sitting in front of you, Maharaj was saying in Gujarati, you know, a better hoy, so ha ha kar se, baro baro se, baro baro se. But upo tha se, ita pachi pata nu kar se kam. That's how it is. So you, when you sit down, force him, he'll say yes, 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 no problem, yes, yes, yes. But he stands up, he does his own thing. So thought has to change. So we work very hard on the thought. Preaching is about changing the thoughts. Krishna consciousness is about changing the thoughts. But in bigger organization like temple and all that, you go, you give money, you do abhishek, very nice, very nice. Everyone is dancing, you know, hurry all, hurry all, you know, very good. But the thought has changed. Yes, it may change. It may change. So why not? They become devotee. That's right. But then they still eat coffee, tea. We don't have to tell people to cover their hair. We don't have to tell devotees to be acting like devotees, but they have to be told. We don't cheat. Whatever it is, it's all goes to them. But I'm not taking just an example. Anything else, you know? So anyone, anything, be it Islam, be it, be it Islam, be it Christian, be it whatever it is, any person who's able to convey the thoughts well will be able to hold the person, <coughs> and they follow it very nicely. They be loyal, and they can continue for them. <coughs> Soch. And it is proved. You kill a person, but the thought remains. He's long gone, but thought still remains. We may say Ram Rajya. So Ram's actions remain. We are all from India, Hindu, so we understand Ram Rajya. So every action is remain. He how he, virtually he 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 acted, you know, Lord Ram. That's correct. But ultimately, it came. Why do I come as a Purushottam Maryada Purushottam Ram? 
He came with Baraza Purushottam. The thought, I don't want to go there, we desire to go, whatever you can say. But the thought is very, very important in mortal world. You may change a person, you may kill a person, but thought will not change. Your thought will still remain. But change a thought, you have won the whole thing. Okay. See, you may force, you may forcefully change somebody to convert into other religion. Okay, it's, it's what happened huh? in India and all the places also. Inverters came, they forcefully change. For the two, three generations, then they become. But any person who's able to change the thought of the person, they will be more powerful. And you don't have to force anybody. Although anyone, be it, we know this, Islam or Christianity, they, they progress by killing each other and killing other people's faiths, right? This is a fact. But how is it that you're giving a, you're not giving a choice to people? If you're so powerful, you should give choice to people, right? The fact that you have to kill somebody to convert them into other religion means you are not powerful enough. Where's the power in this? Tell me, who thought, who thinks like this? I'm not demeaning anything. Religions are very good, but people who are implementing it may be wrong. Possible on this. Absolutely right. We don't demean anybody, any, any religion. But this is not a fact. Actions speak louder than words. Why do you have to kill somebody like this? And in Islam, it is said you will never force somebody to convert into their religion. Islam says this. But same people who have converted. Under that sword, they say Islam says like this, this is a peaceful religion. But how it is implemented is wrong. Then implemented is wrong, right? So also Hinduism too, if it is the case. And even in us as Vaishnavas, so we have to be very careful about thought. Same thing in, in, in Christianity. We do not know it. Very bad. They are killing each other, man. In Jerusalem and all that, you know. They say it is there. That the horses till their belly blood was coming, so many killing was taking place. And if we don't want to go there, it's not of our business. All I'm saying is that that we have to change the thought and do it without any hinsa by our own affection, our own actions. This what I said, you know, our own actions and all we do it. But a thought is important. Thought should in all of you. Whether you preach as an organization, when many years ago, I still remember the date, and I've told this to my leaders also all the time, that we were, normally we would meet in Union Community Center in our normal place. That time, we were sitting, the place, there were some, I think some people from Asia, they were holding the program before us, and it was meat being cooked, it was so badly smelling. So we could not hold the place there. So I called up the center, I said, we can't go there, man. I'm going to the next room. At that time, we were allowed all those things. So we moved to a small room. And that's where all of us were sitting there in a small room. And I said, this is how we're going to preach now. All of you will have your teams. You will go and you will preach. This is how we're going to do it. Or this day of me coming alone, all of you are there, you're supporting me, and doing this is over now. We do that, of course, but you want to go and preach and bring the devotee. This is how we're going to be. So it's very, very important that you keep it very flexible. It's very important that you cannot force anybody. And you can bring your logic, everything in it to convince people. But the thought is very important to change. Okay, have I convinced enough all of you? Yes, Shroji. Avinash was the only person who challenged. Give me some more challenge, man. We've got only four minutes now to go. Sorry, Prabhu, I have no capacity to challenge you. No, 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 no. I'm not that way. It is good. I mean, what do you, no, no, this is not desire should be first. So that is right. And that is what with, with uh, 
then uh, Pathu who mentioned this, you know, continue discussion. It adds to the discussion, no problem. Most important thing is this, Soch. All this culminate into Soch. Our past life, our whatever it is, our, our well-being, our upbringing, everything culminate into our Soch. It, it foundation. Soch becomes a foundation. And then Soch has to be communicated very clearly. Again, I'm saying every person has a Soch, good or bad. But how well it is communicated, it is very important. And we want Hare Krishna weekend or Krishna consciousness, at least in this organization, to become a Soch. So that it cannot be, you know, people cannot say that this is this is where it is. Tomorrow, when I'm gone, the Soch should remain. All of you are leaders. You must continue with it. We teach you absolutely everything. And you may teach as an organization, or you may teach to your family. No problem. Everything is good. Who knows, from your family, somebody will become Krishna conscious and they will go and preach. Soch remains. Soch should remain. And the purity of Soch, the purity of thought is very important. That is Parampara. So that's why we say it is Prabhupada's teachings, but in the mood of Mahavishnu Goswami Maharaj. So all of you, once you come to the leaders group, my normal will be very heavy. So that's, the, that's why we give the touch of Mahavishnu Goswami Maharaj. The search is important. Maharaj used to say, we were telling one devotee, nah, uh, uh, yes, I have given this example also. Maharaj said this to him, said, why are you, there was a, a, a handkerchief fallen in the, in the temple, you know, in the temple room. One handkerchief was fallen. So Maharaj said, who has fallen this, why is nobody picking up this handkerchief? You know? Maharaj said, this is violence. So disciples thought, this is violence? A handkerchief in the temple room is a violence? How is it violence? So Maharaj is violence. He said, of course, there is a person, a guest may come and may see, say, Hurry, in this temple, this is lying down here, nobody is picking up. He'll feel bad. He'll feel offended. That is violence. This is how violence is created in someone's thought. So we should be very careful. This is a thought. I'll tell you one more thing. You're talking about violence of Mahavishnu Goswami Maharaj. How many of us, when we go to our, take our shower and we put our clothes for washing, you know, how we, we fold the clothes nicely and put in the washing? Or we fold the clothes nicely and put it in the, because we, actually we should not be putting our muchi clothes in the washing directly. This is a different thing. We put the muchi clothes, keep it separately. So before our shower, we go and, and, and put it in washing. Okay, so wherever we keep it on a, on, a, on a basket or bucket or whatever we keep it, how many of you fold the clothes nicely and put in the bucket for washing? Or we just put it out and throw it and then go into the shower? Yeah, Maharaj said, this is violence because you people are violent people. Maharaj said this. We don't want it, so we throw it away like this. You must fold it nicely and keep it. This is non-violence. You see? Paribhasha alag hai. Ye soch hai. Very heavy stuff. Very heavy stuff. Because we are by by nature, we are violent people. That's why we just throw things. Why will you throw it? You tell me. You don't want it, so throw it? We, we go into, a, we stay in a hotel. Or a motel. On the last day, we make a mess of the hotel or motel room and we walk away. How many of us do this? Raise your hands. No, don't raise your hands. Everybody does that. How many of you walk out of the hotel room keeping it tidy? Raise your hands. No, don't raise your hands. Because we are violent people. See, this is soch. Power of a soch. Imagine next time when you think, oh man, that demon had said this, man. Let me put it tidy properly at least, you know. Uh, the demons, you know, always, my, they remember nothing. But nothing would, would remain. But my face will remain in your brain. What a man, this guy, this story. I don't follow him, but I remember his face, man. I have to be very careful. Yeah, this is how it is. Okay? So always remember. But want the same clothes. You want to wash 
after it is cleaned then you will take it very nicely you'll iron it and fold it nicely and put it nicely and don't touch it and it should be clean and like this will keep that how foolish we are how foolish we are somebody will say but usko dhona hi to hai we are washing it now so what's a big deal that's correct nothing wrong with it but except we are violent people because not violent people will not be violent with the clothes also because a minute a minute ago a second ago we are wearing it nicely and the second after you want to wash it we throw it away like this like and put it away na right? take out this put it fold it and throw or somebody will kick it also you know not in the have to kick it inside you know? not going lose our football you know it's not going in just kick there and then wash it in i am very non violent person so completely violent people this is the point these are final points of human behavior now you tell me till now when mahavishnu gosai maharaj were not in your life did we know this was also violence so now we know right so this is a touch of a of a soch and that soch i got forcefully and then i'm putting my soch to you so tomorrow when you have got your own children or somebody your group will say don't be violent this is also violence keep it properly keep it tidy absolutely amazing isn't it and he would wear the same clothes i mean not same clothes of course uh, he would not keep changing his clothes to wash it clean nicely for many years same kurta same dhoti because it is done nicely with lot of affection non violence so violence is that this is the mood of understanding shri prabhu pa's uh, uh, literature by mahavishnu goswami maharaj's mood this is the point so you remember this next time don't teach other people mummy you must not uh, don't worry about mummy and father <laughs> we are very happy to teach everybody you know don't teach anybody you teach yourself first just do it like this nicely put and fold it and done okay and when you wake up first thing go and get ready first become fresh wear fresh clothes and then don't come out then come out don't linger around when you're not clean this is wrong okay uncleanness is no good if you go to toilet you must take a shower in the morning don't come out of shower without this is a very important point the small children big children it is all bogus anything else It's a Western way that people don't take their bath till whatever twelve o'clock or one o'clock, you know, roaming around. So much much of mentality. It is not there in India. It has become after money. More money is going to come in India. The more people are going to become like this. Dirty people. They take bath in the night. I was shocked, man. What do you mean? How ridiculous is that, man? Take bath twice, morning and evening. This is what Indian things are. So very quick. Why only? No, no. Why in the night only? I will tell people when you come to my home, you must go inside first in the morning, take a shower and come out. Don't ring around. It's not allowed. Or else, don't come. Chai, don't come. I don't come. Goodbye. We have a temple at home. Full stop. You know. That's it. Very clean. But don't force anybody else. I can say this in my house. This is my house. Okay. <laughs> you don't worry about other people. You change yourself first. That's it. and your soch you will influence others all right is this okay thank you very much with this soch we conclude today's class today's discussion hope it is of some value so what we concluded is this all answers are right answers how well we convey is very important soch or thinking the thought is very powerful everyone has powerful thoughts but how will we convey is important okay even this thing about folding the clothes and keeping for washing or that that uh, you know handkerchief in temple or in the room in the house house is a temple is also a thought maharaj could say this when maharaj we were influenced by his thoughts that's why we could carry it now other maharaj departed in 2010 we are 2020 24 now why should anybody worry about it and this must have been spoken when in 1990 sometime or 2000 sometime i don't know 
but now it should carry on now you must carry on 2050 2100 2200 3000 years then we are long gone but the soch should continue this is called this is called parampara all right okay before you go finish anyone wants to say anything please feel free we'll give you open forum हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरि बोल हरि कृष्णा और हरि कृष्णा आनंद जी हरि कृष्णा हरि कृष्णा कैसे ठीक है मैं ये बिल्कुल ठीक मैं आपके डिस्कशन सुन रहा था शुरू से नहीं सुन पाया माफी चाहता हूं लेकिन जो आपका प्रश्न है कि सोच एक चीज है एक व्यक्ति एक सोच है तो उसके लिए मैं आपसे कहना चाह पूछना चाह रहा हूं मुझे समझ नहीं रहा इसलिए पूछ रहा हूं कि जितने भी सोच हैं इसने एक इज्म को तैयार किया है जैसे गांधी इज्म या ये सारी इजम्स तैयार करती हैं जिसको हम हिंदी में वाद कहते हैं लेकिन हम भक्ति से अगर प्रगति चाहते हैं तो उसमें जो सर्ववादेशु नष्टेशु होता है सर्ववादेशु नष्टेशु कृष्ण एवं गति रमा इसको थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन कीजिए प्लीज नहीं सोच की बात अलग है भक्ति की बात अलग है सोच इज पावरफुल ब्यासिंग हम ये बोल रहे हैं कि अगर आपको जन्म के बाद कोई आदमी मर जाने के बाद उसे सोच रहती है हां और जितने इजम्स हां और और कुछ नहीं जितने इजम्स सब गलत है जी जी जितने भी इजम्स हैं वो सब कुछ गलत है पर ये कहां से उत्पन्न हुआ सोच से उत्पन्न हुआ हां हम तो ये भी बोल रहे थे कि जो ओसामा बिन लादेन की भी सोच है यार उसके मरने के बाद भी लोग मार रहे एक दूसरे को जी जी सही तो सोच पावरफुल है तो सोच को अगर बदलते हैं हम तो अच्छी हो सकता है तो उसको नहीं बदलेंगे तो बुरा हो सकता है पर सोच इज पावरफुल जी जी नथिंग एल्स दैट्स द ओनली थिंग ठीक है जी हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू ओके एनीवन वांट्स एनीबॉडी एल्स वांट्स टू से एनीथिंग प्लीज फील फ्री ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच हरे कृष्णा सो वी कंक्लूड टुडे क्लास एंड टुडे इज डिस्कशन विद दिस थिंकिंग एंड विद अ विद अ थॉट दैट this thought is the most powerful so we must think about very clear thought is krishna consciousness is our thought padma prabhu asked a question is it thought of course it is a thought too okay make sure it remains a thought because if it is a thought if you can make krishna consciousness a thought then it will remain yeah making sure it remains and make sure that it remains a thought going further how you convey is very important to people you know very important then the children will follow you if you keep your soch you know it will become a, a sort of a jumbesh for you, you know yes i want to do it you will put your energy behind it you know <laughs> it is you want hari krishna weekend to be a thought you know so it will remain tomorrow when nothing will remain who knows you may have taught to somebody aapne kisi ko prachar kiya hoga yahan par and that person may remain oh, this is very good man i'll start this again he starts you know, to him his family and one of his children may start to follow it he start to preach whole world will become krishna conscious so no yeah okay after chaitanya mahaprabhu said that my senapati bhakta will go into is going to come he said this who will preach krishna conscious to the whole world mahaprabhu said after mahaprabhu left after 200 years 3 500 years and everybody carried the thought shila bhakti the bhakti you know thakur carried the thought he is going to come so they complete continued the thought he is going to come his son and then he prayed bhakti you know thakur prayed to lord jagannath in the in the temple in jagannath puri there's a temple in, in lord jagannath ma uh, puri temple there's a small temple at the out, outside on the courtyard it is bimula devi temple durga devi so he prayed to her to say give me a son who can help me to continue with this process please help me that's why he was born and his name was bimula prasad so the bhakti sadam sarva thakur that's why the name bimula prasad came it is through bimula prasad one of his disciples not the stall wall disciple but completely grahastha Was not in the movement at all. Not outside. He was from outside. 
he came and he preached to the whole world, Prabhupada. You see? So they carried this thought, he's going to come. Nobody became very, you know, morose, or nobody seeing saying, it's not going to happen, you know? They all wanted to happen. So they carried a thought. It's very important that these authorities carry the thoughts. You must carry a thought. Keep it with you in your heart. And wherever possible, convey it very nicely, convincingly to everybody. Okay? So just to conclude this point, I want to reiterate this point again, that all these motivational speakers speak the same thing. They give you a thought and they give convincing arguments. All these so-called big, big gurus who do not speak scriptures on YouTube or YouTube or whatever it is, they don't speak, speak, uh, speak scriptures, but they give a thought and they convince logically. So we gave logics today. We learned their aspect to keep a thought, your answer, and give a strong foundation around it. All answers are right answers as long as you convey well. But this is the correct answer. The thought is very powerful. But I took it as this example. But we always go to scriptures and see how scriptures are. Okay? So now we know the power of thought. It can be good, it can be bad. So converse your thought. You should conserve your thought. And make sure your thought becomes powerful over a period of time. So powerful enough with your own own um, uh, your own tapasya. The thought should be so strong in your heart, in your brain, thinking about it so much that your words become powerful enough. When you speak, there is vajan, there is weight in your words. And then people will be convinced about it. And good or bad, everybody has done the same thing, tapasya. So why not we? Whether they can do it in that uh, ISIS, you know, Osama bin Laden can do it. He's there, but he's following. Why can't we do it? Prabhupada is a perfect example for us. It's going, Prabhupada, Guru Mahal example for us. Let's look at that. Why not? Okay? Hare Krishna. And I do not allow any, apart from the devotees in this program here, any outsider to pick up any words from what I have spoken and take it against me or Krishna Consciousness, or ISKCON, or Hare Krishna, we can. We have spoken many controversial things, which if it is spoken and heard through only in snippets, they'll say I'm demeaning or criticizing any religion, or any person, or anybody. I'm not doing any of this. So I do not allow it. It should not be done. If they want to hear, let them hear the whole class, whole discussion. Then they'll understand, we are not demeaning anybody. We are not interested in criticizing anybody. Our criticism is only us. I can criticize only myself. Okay? Because this is recorded on YouTube. So tomorrow anybody can pick up anything and criticize me after 10 years, 20 years. This is what that guy said. You know, it's so wrong. Criticizing Prophet Muhammad and all. No, no. I don't criticize anybody. All respect to everybody. Okay? <laughs> all right. Hare Krishna. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. Shila Gurudev ki jai. Now whose turn is it to sing Maharaj? Maharaj, please hear that. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Oh, Hare Krishna, Subhadra Ji. Aapka turn hai aaj. Uh, yes, Prabhuji. Haan, Prabhuji. <laughs> you know only, kaise hai? Aap thik hai? Main thik hu, Prabhuji. Haan, utna aata hai, Khali. You know only that much. Haan, main thik hu. Kuch aur puch liya, to kuch nahi maanum padta fe. Haan, aapki galti nahi hai. Woh aapke baju mein bethe hai na, unki galti hai. Last week, you were very proud of me. I will follow my father. Father, father should be properly teaching Hindi. What is the matter, bro? Australia, Jakarta, Australia, man, you all. What is the matter? What Hindi man? We are trying, bro. We are doing a little bit. We are talking. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes, Navina ji, Hare Krishna ji. How are you, Mr. Mee ji? What is मैं छाना है पापुजी आ तो आंखें कहीं बोला कहीं के लो तुम आज दिवस भर कहीं के लो कहीं जीवन जीवन कहीं के लो तुम्हें हाँ कुटी के लो तुम चाहे वरील वरील मुझे कौन बाबा बाबा मुझे कौन डैडी डैडी डैड 
See, Madhu became dad. My son also called me dad. I'm dead. I'm very much alive. Mala. Oh, Mala. Prompting chalu hai. Okay, okay. All right, all right. No problem. Very nice. All the best to all, all of you. They're very nice children. Very nice. Huh? All the best to you. Yes, Shivadaji, please sing very nicely with nice action. Okay, we'll follow you. Okay. One. Madhavji, where is Madhavji? Madhavji is sick today. Madhavji, he got fever. Oh, he's got fever. Okay, okay. All right. Chale. Okay, one, two, three, start. Maharaj, Maharaj, please hear us. Maharaj, Maharaj, please hear us. We have learned some real good stuff. We have learned some real good stuff. Maharaj, we have learned one thing. Maharaj, we have learned one thing. And today for you, we will sing. And today for you, we will sing. If our room is clean. If our room is clean. Then our mind is clean. Then our mind is clean. If our mind is clean. If our mind is clean. We can do anything. We can do anything. If our room is dirty. If our room is dirty. Then so are we. Then so are we. And if we are dirty, and if we are dirty, we're not happy. We're not happy. We're wasting time. Wasting time is the greatest crime. Is the greatest crime because wasted time. Because wasted time means a wasted mind. Means a wasted mind. So best use our time. So best use your time when you're in your prime. When you are in your prime, and your whole life, and your whole life will be. Sublime. Will be sublime. If your wealth is gone. If your wealth is gone. Then there is nothing wrong. Then there is nothing wrong. But if your health is gone. If your health is gone. Then that's a different song. That's a different song. If your character dies. If your character dies. Then the world will cry. Then the world will cry. Only saintly behavior. Only saintly behavior. That humanity thrives. That humanity thrives. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Ram Ram Hare Hare. We must always remember Krishna. We must always remember Krishna. And never forget him too. And never forget him too. But how are we to practice this with so many things to do? But how are we to practice this with so many things to do? There's the greatest question. That is the greatest question. And here's the greatest clue. And here is the greatest clue. You can only remember Krishna. No. no. You, you must learn to work so nicely. Work nicely that Krishna remembers you. You must you learn to work so nicely that Krishna, Krishna remembers you. you. So listen very closely. So listen very closely. And make your thinking sharp. And make your thinking sharp. Let's learn how we can live and work so Krishna won't depart. Let's learn how, how we can, can live and work so Krishna, Krishna won't depart. depart. Whatever work we're given. Whatever work we're given. If something is due tomorrow. If something due tomorrow. If something's due tomorrow. Finish it today. Finish it today. Whatever's due today. Whatever's due today. Do it now. Don't delay. Do it now. Don't delay. Your friends might be lazy. Your friends might be lazy. Or doing bad things. Or doing bad things. But you think again. But you think again. Don't follow them. Don't follow them. And you will win the end. And you will win the end. Whatever work we're given. Whatever work we're given. We do our very best. We do our very best. We only live with what we need and give Krishna the rest. We only live with what we need and give Krishna the rest. This is how to live, to work and to play. You learn to live this way, you'll see Krishna every day. This is how to live, to work and to play. You learn to live this way, you'll see Krishna every day. 
The one at time is up, you'll take us up above, sing and dance with him with a heart full of love. And when our time is up, you'll take us up above, we'll sing and dance with him with a heart full of love. So chant Krishna's name, his glories and his fame, so only where this world will ever become sin. So chant Krishna's name, his glories and his fame, is the only way this world will ever become sin. Now please ask this greatest question. Now please ask this greatest now, question. And find this greatest clue. And find this greatest clue. You can only remember Krishna. You can only remember Krishna. If Krishna remembers you. If Krishna remembers you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Yeah Yeah Hare Krishna Shri Mahavishnu Goswami Maharaj Shri Guru Dev Ki Jai Jagat Guru Shri La Prabhu Pad Ki Jai Janant Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Shishinitai Gaur Chandra Prem Anande Hari Hari All Gauri Sura Assembled Devotees Hari Krishna All Gauri Sura Assembled Devotees Hari Krishna All Gauri Sura Assembled Devotees Hari Krishna All Gauri is all Gauri Sura Lotus Feet of Shishi Guru and Shishi Gaurang Ki Jai Jagat Guru Shura Prabhupada Ki Jai Shura Guru Dev Ki Jai Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristhaya Bhutale Shrimati Mahavishnu Goswami Niti Namine Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristhaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaurvani Pacharine Nirvishesh Shunivari Pasha Kadesh Tarine Hare Krishna I was going to say one more thing that we had very nice program Avinash Abhu Dekha Sunabrash Ashram It's very nice you know आपका प्रोग्राम आपके सेंटर में इस वेरी नाइस नाउ है ना एंड बाहर भी गार्डनिंग बहुत हो रहा है तो दिस पीपल आर वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड यू नो आई आई वाज टू किल विद अ केमिकल यू नो वो जो प्लांट्स थे वो बीच होते थे दे से प्लीज डोंट किल इफ यू गिव अस अ परमिशन वी विल प्लांट समथिंग दे पुल्ड आउट � and my request is that wherever we are, wherever we are, we must create Shama Class Ashram. Your home can be Shama Class Ashram. Shama Class Ashram can record one program. Why not? This it doesn't have to be big and all those things. Good sort of thing. Please do so. Please do. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I'm, yes, going, to ask, Krishna. I'm going to ask you and Madhuri a difficult question now. Yes. When are you planning to come to Nagpur? <laughs> Nagpur? <laughs> I don't know. Devotees are waiting and I've been told that Mataji has got relatives and friends and other people. And of course, and every, every youth asks me about Krishna Prabhu's class. When he is going to give? Yes, that's right. He is very busy with a lot of things at the moment. So that's a very good question. We should ask him only. <laughs> We should. I, I, I think I'm very keen about it myself too. You know, this. So we'll just give us a little bit of time. We'll we'll let you know. There are many things are happening here too. You know, so we've got our organization running online. All of you are doing things, and we got set up here also. A lot of devotees are dependent upon us now. You know, and I'm no. nothing. Hare Krishna weekend is a priority first. You know, online. So no, any we opportunity don't, all the time. We don't want you to come in for a long time. Come here for some time, and that's it. Yeah. I know yes. you, can, you and Mataji can find time. Yes, Mataji can find time. Sorry, Bhav. Hare Krishna, Purnya Pagna, Mataji. What do you think? Because, yeah. No, Prabhuji, uh, definitely. Um, I'm very eager to meet everyone personally, Prabhuji. So, wherever it is, the place is not important, but I definitely want to come and meet everyone. We're thinking about that now. Sarvasiddhi Mataji is also coming to India, so. Uh, yes, yes, I, yes. 
to be there or you, when are you coming to New Zealand? Are you planning to come at all? I don't know. 